Hi everyone, hope you're doing good and having a great week. To all my returning subscribers, thank you for your support. And to all our viewers and those recently subscribed, thank you and welcome to this channel. So today we'll be doing a review of the 2011 uh, Australian uh, Bush Babies PNC series. With my recent visit to Emma Roberts in Sydney of New South Wales, I finally managed to complete uh, this series with the purchase of the Sugar Glider PNC. For this video, we're going to quickly go through the specifications of the coin. And then uh, we're going to take a look at the PNCs here the one at a time before ending with my final thoughts. But before we get into this, uh, please leave me a like if you enjoy this sort of content and don't forget to share and subscribe. So let's get into it. Alright, uh, let me start by quickly going through the specifications of these coins. Uh, these coins here were minted by the Perth Mint in aluminium bronze. Uh, they have a weight of 13.8 grams, a diameter of 30.6 millimeter, and a thickness of 3.1 millimeter with a fully readered edge. Uh, currently at the moment, uh, there are no mintage numbers for all the coins in the series. So if anybody knows uh, the mintage for this uh, Bush Baby series, uh, please uh, share that in the comment section below. On the obverse of all the coins, you can see the fourth portrait of the Queen by Ian Rang Broadley. Uh, you can see his initials, uh, IRB, uh, right over here. And surrounding the portrait, we have the legend, Elizabeth II, Australia, the year issue 2011, as well as the face value of $1 right below. Let's go ahead now and take a look at the first PNC issued for this series. Uh, this is the Koala, which was released on the 1st of July 2011. Right on the front of the envelope, you can see this very beautiful artistry image of a koala, which is repeated on the stamp. The stamp is a postmark and it's from uh, Victoria. Uh, right on the back here, we have some uh, description about the koala as well as some details about the production by the entities involved. And again here, we can see the recommended retail price is $15.95. Here's the card that I have removed from the envelope. And on the other side of the coin, we can see on the card the specifications as well as the name of the designer of the reverse of this coin. The designer was Elise Martinson and she designed the reverse for all five coins of this series. Here's the reverse of this coin and on the card we can see the same uh, artistry work that you saw on the envelope. On the reverse of the coin, uh, we have this uh, very beautiful design of a koala uh, resting in the bush and just to its right we can see a moth. The title of the coin is over here, Australian Koala and we can see the P name for the Perth Mint right here as well as the initials of Elise Martinson, uh, EM just below that. Here's the second PNC of this series, which is the Dingo, issued on the 2nd of August 2011. Again, uh, right on the front, uh, you can see this uh, very beautiful artwork of a Dingo, which is repeated on the stamp. And just a point to note, uh, the denomination of this stamp is $1.60, while for the Koala over here, the denomination is $2.35. Uh, this uh, stamp is Postmark and it's from uh, Queensland. Right on the back of the envelope, uh, we can see some information about the Dingo. And just below over here, we can see that this is uh, issue number 9 of 2011. Uh, the Koala over here is issue number 8. The recommended retail price is the same, uh, $15.95. Here's the card which I have removed from the envelope. And on the other side, again, uh, you can see the specification as well as the name of the designer, Elise Martinson. Uh, right on the back, the artistry work is the same as that on the envelope. And here's a closer look at the beautiful reverse. Uh, we can see a dingle uh, seated to the left with a butterfly over here to his right. The name of this coin, uh, Australian uh, dingle, is over here with the Perth Mint uh, min mark right down here and the initials for Elise Partinson are right over here. Let's move on now to the third issue of this series. Uh, this is the Bilby, 
released on the 6th of September 2011. The artistry work, the design style on the envelope is the same as the first two of this series. And the design of the bilby here, which is I must say is really beautiful, is repeated on the stamp. The stamp has a value of 60 cent and is postmarked uh, this time from Charlesville in Queensland. Here on the back of the envelope, we have some information about the bilby, which is a nocturnal a marsupial. And this uh, PNC here is the 10th issue for 2011. Let's move on now with the card which I've removed from the envelope. On the other side of the coin, you can see the specifications and the same name, uh, Liz Martinson. And on the back, we have the same uh, artistry work that we saw on the envelope. Here's a closer look at the beautiful reverse. And on it, uh, we can see a bilby uh, standing in the bush and looking at a grasshopper. The bilby uh, looks a little bit like a kangaroo actually. Uh, right over here, we have the name of the coin, Australian uh, bilby, with the pertinent uh, P letter name mark right here and the initials of uh, Alice Martinson, EM, right below here. Here's the fourth issue of the Bush Baby series. And this PNC here was the one that I purchased from Emma Roberts, allowing me to complete uh, this series. Uh, this is the uh, Sugar Glider, and it was uh, released on the 4th of October, 2011. You can see the Sugar Glider here, which is repeated on the stamp. And this stamp here has a really high value of $4.70. The stamp is postmarked from uh, Fern Tree a Gully in Victoria. Here's the back of the envelope uh, where you can see some information about the sugar glider, which is a species of a possum. This is the 11 issue of a PNC for 2011. And I only paid $7.50 when I purchased this from Emma Roberts. Here is the card which I removed from the envelope. And as usual, on the other side, we can see the specifications. While on the back, we have the same sugar glider design as we saw on the envelope. On the beautiful reverse, we can see a sugar glider. It looks like he's climbing down from a tree. And just over here, we can see a dragonfly. The name of the coin, uh, Australian uh, Sugar Glider, is right over here with the P letter in mark right here and the initials for Alice Martinson just over here. We come now to the final PNC of this series. Uh, this is the Kangaroo, issued on the 2nd of November 2011. And of all the artistry design of this series, I think uh, this is the most beautiful one. Uh, we can see the kangaroo image here, which is repeated on the stamp. And the stamp has a value of $1.65. Stamp is postmarked, uh, typically, from a kangaroo flat of Victoria. Here's the back of the envelope with some information about the kangaroo. And we can see that this is the 14th issue of PNC for 2011. Here's the card uh, from the envelope and on the other side of the coin, we can see the specifications and the name Alice Martinson. Uh, right on the back, on the reverse side, we can see the same artistry design as we saw on the envelope. Here's a closer look at the reverse and on it, uh, we can see a kangaroo uh, facing to the right and looking on a Christmas beetle. The name of the coin, Australian kangaroo, is right over here with the Perfman Memma right here and the initials of Alice Martinson, EM, uh, hidden uh, right here among the flowers. Well, that completes my review of this Bush Babies PNC series. Uh, let me just quickly share with you some of my thoughts. When I first got into uh, collecting Australian PNCs, uh, these over here were the first few that I uh, started with. Uh, in my opinion, uh, these are probably the most uh, beautiful uh, PNCs uh, released by the Australian Post and the Perth Mint. I think their design is much nicer than the later uh, Bush Baby series released in 2013, uh, which I already have a complete set of 
and I'll do a video review of that uh, in a future video. You can typically uh, find all these PNCs here uh, sold at uh, coin stores below their retail price. And if you're looking to start a collection, I believe uh, the Bush Baby series of 2011 is one series that you should start with. Well, with that, I guess that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, learning about uh, this series of PNC issued by the Australian Post and Perth Mint in 2011. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, uh, don't forget to leave me a like if you have enjoyed this content. And be sure to hit that share and subscribe buttons down here if you have not done so. As always, uh, from all my friends here, you all please take care, be safe, and have a nice day.